I'm just going to get Brian in. Um, he's over there. We've moved their fields over today. So we're in the new grass fields. Right, right, I'm not coming to get you. Brian thinks I'm getting him in. <laughs> Definitely not. I might take his rug off actually, it's quite warm. Anyway. Hello. I'm getting the boys in. Well, I'm gonna get Brian in. I need to clip him today. This is a really crappy intro. Give me two seconds. Sorry, I just had to keep an eye on Ryan because he decided he wanted to gab gallop full pelt up and down the field about six times. But here is Rosie. Ignore that spot on my forehead. Hey Rosie. So, hello again. I feel like I literally don't vlog anymore, but that's because I have nothing to vlog because I never do anything that's interesting. Literally don't jump at home. So, fun times. Um, today we are clipping Brian, as you can see. Here's one furry boy. One furry horsey. Aren't you? Well, this is as furry as he gets, really. But you can see. This is as furry as Brian will get. But basically, we're going to clip him. Although, we haven't got any little clippers anymore. Because my little clipper batteries are like broken but only one of them actually works it still dies really quickly so i don't know how this is gonna work i'm gonna can you stop being a stop it oh, ryan's just nailing his head off because he's alone but anyways so i'm gonna clip him with the big ones on his body get a grip it's literally a flyer he's the most dramatic horse in the world it's a tiny little flyer yeah, you're a drama queen. Um, and then I'm going to try and clip his face. And then if I can get his face out, I may attempt to do his legs. Depends on what mood he's in, because he hates being clipped. And he's a drama queen. So, yeah. That is basically the plan. Because we have a show. I'm going to go into Parkham on Wednesday. It's currently Monday. But I don't know if that's going to work or not. This vlog will continue on to Wednesday if we go. Um, meant to be doing a budget qualifier, the 125, but they put on Facebook today they haven't got a lot of entries, so they might end up cancelling it, which is great. First budget qualifier of the year, and it might be cancelled. Great start. But if not, I think we're going to go to Pikeham. Pikeham? Stop it! I think we're going to go to Felbridge on Saturday to jump in the new arena, because we haven't jumped in the new arena yet. So, yeah, this vlog will continue on, whether we do Pikeham or Felbridge will depend on where this vlog continues. But I will update you guys along the way. Let's get clipping. Let's let's get clipping. giving the clippers five minutes to cool down so out of the heat managed to do this side of his body as you can see i love it in the winter because his coat is so much lighter he goes like this really really light bay which i really love um he always a bit dapper as well down his neck go away um i don't know if I'm, whether i'm gonna do his legs like i said because i don't think the clippers are gonna last but i am gonna do his body and his head might leave the legs We've just ordered some new clippers, so hopefully when they come, if we don't do Pike on Wednesday, I'll be able to do his legs in time because they're being dispatched for next day delivery tomorrow. So they'll, they'll be here Wednesday. So obviously if we do the show on Wednesday, my eyelashes, huh? If we do the show on Wednesday, they're not going to be here on time. So yes, we shall see. But I hate it when they're not fully clipped. I hate leaving the legs in. But what I don't want to do is start them and then not be able to finish them. So we'll just see how the little clippers get on. So yeah.
is where we're up to. But currently, leaving his legs in. Need some help to do his face because he won't stand still. So I have to wait for my nan to get back. Just quickly gave his legs a wash and gave him a quick wash off with the Tours Equestrian Hot Oil. Just make him all shiny and get all the grit and stuff off from underneath where it was all like, what is that, what is it? I don't know what it's called, like all the little like white stuff, like all the dandruff off of him. So now he's done all the dandruffy. I should have done a before and after, but I forgot. Um, I just washed his legs, as you've seen. I didn't clip his legs because the clippers aren't doing very well. So I've just left them. So if we do the show on Wednesday, he looks okay to ride. But then if we do the show on Saturday, I can clip them once the clippers come on Wednesday. Um, I just need to finish clipping his face. As you can kind of see, there's little bits as soon as you're done. Like this side of his face, his ears like above his eye on this side because he's a bit weird on this side of his face um hey. but i'm just waiting for nan because she just went shopping and she used to help me i need someone to hold him for me because he won't let me do it by myself so yeah that's all we have left to do and then we'll be done we are all done he's a pretty good boy yeah good morning everyone um sorry for the lack of vlogging since so update we are we are off to parking today um, I'm jumping the two last classes. We're still leaving like just before 11 though, because there's not a lot of people there today. So my first class starts at one um, and I'm third in. So I need to be tacked up and warmed up before call sport really. And then just have a last couple of jumps afterwards. So just mucking out now, it's quite cold. I always have put a big coat on. Um, but as you can see, I'm just mucking out. Um, I am actually watching Hoyas on the live stream. That's why I'm not recording me mucking out because I wish I was there. So I'm just going to support everyone jumping in the Bronze and Silver League this morning, which is why I'm being quick. But I'm just going to quickly muck out, do my jobs. Hopefully I'm going to sit on Ryan if I have time. If not, I'm going to do that when I get home, hopefully. If not, I'll do it tomorrow because I'm lazy. Then I need to pack the Lorraine stuff. I'll show you that once I've watched Hoyas. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's packed. I'm hoping that I've remembered everything. Just need to put the water in there now. Mr. Ron. You have a little bit there. Colour pumping guy. Oh. <sighs> Off of it. Off of it. Thank you. I'm always so bad giving one drink to that the other. I have to get Brizy now. Brizy! Now you're staring at me, what are you eating? And nettles. Sounds like him. Anyway, I'm in a bit of a rush now. Sorry I haven't like really updated you guys that much. It's been a bit of a rush this morning. Um, everything took me a little bit longer than I hoped. I've already rode Ryan. Um, watched toys. So now I'm just getting Brizzy in. So you know, why are you eating the nettles? Really? I was eating the fawns. What are you doing? Come on, quick. I need to quickly give him a groom. No, okay, I'm gonna drop it on the floor. I need to quickly groom him. And quickly get him ready so we can leave on time. Nobody's massage before we get into the top. Just waiting to go in the warm up.
Rise jump clear in the 120, despite a lack of control because there was a water train in the arena. Quite a, it was quite a mess, but we went clear. So fingers crossed for the next class. Walking Rise up now to um, jump the qualifier, the 125 blue qualifier. We'll see how it goes. Um, not really expecting anything to be honest, but hopefully he jumps better in the last class and isn't so distracted by the water train. Ice booties on. Here are the goats. Rise eight. Yeah. Rise eight. Yeah. Rise eight. Yeah. Rise eight was an absolute superstar. He comes second in the 125 boot shoot qualifier. I am over the moon with him. It's literally empty here. Well, literally, the only one's left, and there's Lori here. I will update you guys fully when we get back, but honestly, over the moon with him. Two double tears, boot shoot qualification in the 125 as well. Over the moon, honestly. So happy with him. Go. So I should go again. Good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. As you can see, we are now home. Brian is in bed, all snuggled up. Um, I bandaged him and everything. He was hand grazed for a bit. I didn't put him out in the field only because all the other horses were in. And he doesn't like being out by himself. If you put him out by himself, even if he hasn't been out all day, he will just neigh and can track him down and then get himself into a right state. So um, I just decided to leave him in and then he can have a day off tomorrow and go out all day and enjoy himself. Um, he was absolutely unreal, as you would have seen. Uh, the 120 wasn't the best round ever. Um, where I haven't been to a show in a while and I've only jumped in once at home, which was on Sunday, and it didn't go to plan uh, like he was fine he was amazing but i just couldn't really see a stride very well um my plan was to just use the 120 as a warm-up just get him around just to get my confidence up um not go for it because i didn't want to put like go for it and then end up screwing up and then being worried about the next class um 
it didn't go as well as I'd have liked. Um, they had a water tray in it, as you'd have seen, and it was like the... He's almost worse when it's low to the ground, if that makes sense. Like if the poles are low to the ground, it's worse than whether, when it's just like a built-up jump with a water tray under it. So, as you'd have seen, he did spook at it um, and took off really weirdly. Um, and then after that, he almost got really sharp and was just dragging me the whole way around because he kind of got himself into like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, there's a water tray. And I was like, really? Like, this is really helpful. Um, he literally like dragged me into the bottom of everything. Like, it was not the nicest round ever. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know that. For when if you think, well, she's crap. I know it was bad. Like, he was just dragging me and it was just really not very good um so from 125 i luckily they took the water tray out honestly god send thank you very much Parkham. um they took the water tray out so he was a lot a lot better um when i went in the arena the water tray was still in there so i just kind of completely avoided it didn't show him it because he just gets really tense as soon as he sees it and like gets really like anxious so because he didn't see it um and we started everything it went a lot better he was a lot more relaxed he was a lot more listening to me as you'd have seen in the video he jumped a lot better because he was actually kind of sitting back rather than just galloping at everything and i found it a lot easier to see a stride that way um obviously otherwise if he's just tanking me he just drags me into the bottom of everything where he's not adjustable um but he jumped really really well my plan was to just go for a clear and he went for a clear and we ended up finishing second so yeah really really pleased with him he was a superstar two double clears um yeah really really happy and i hope you guys enjoyed the quick little vlog i know i haven't been vlogging that much recently and i apologize um a bit useless me but i just haven't really had anything to vlog ryan hasn't been jumping um and i haven't been jumping brian at home as you've seen he had a, a little bit of a break after hicks did um but we're back out now to shows i say that but this is actually my only show now for like four weeks um <laughs> basically my vlogs will just be when i vlog there's not really any planned vlogs so yeah i apologize for the lack of them i know that a lot of you have been asking me to vlog more but honestly i haven't had anything to vlog i don't really find it interesting vlogging like my daily routine it's just stayed the same from when i last vlogged like about it god knows how long ago and i know that personally i wouldn't want to watch that so i don't know why you would guys would want to watch that like i try and vlog stuff that's interesting so hope you guys enjoy the vlog make sure to like comment subscribe and I will see you guys next time, whenever that is.